Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 on the road again, again. I'm somewhere between Zapata, Texas and Hebronville, Texas on Highway 16. Temperature 56 top down degrees, I guess, if you got a convertible. And it is a very nice day. As you can see, the sky is clear and there's no wind. Why am I traveling today? Because I'm headed back to Llano, Texas, my semi-home base in an ungated community called an RV park. And I'm going to go to Choke Canyon State Park for the night tonight. Why? Well, because that's a good midway point. It's about a four-hour drive to Choke Canyon, and then it's about a four- or five-hour drive from Choke Canyon to Llano RV Park. Lano, Texas. So, and also the reason I moved out a couple of days early actually was because I was checking the winds and today the winds are very favorable as in almost no wind, which is good. And tomorrow about the same. If there's any wind tomorrow, it will be behind me, pushing me all the way to Lano, Texas, which is wonderful because driving in a side wind or head wind sucks wind. You like that? Well, it does. But yeah, uh, on the road again, I like this part of the adventure. It's just cruising through this old South Texas brush country. Nothing but cactus, mesquite, uh, wee satch. Uh, everything out there has got thorns all over it. And uh, yeah, if it won't stick you, something will bite you. You know, it's a crazy area. But yeah, that's uh, South Texas, USA, guys. Get along or get out. So here we go, guys. What's on, on the road again? What's, what's it all about, Alfie? You know, why do I, why do I, me, at 75 years old, go out and buy me a new motorhome, Class C, Thor, Four Winds 22E, called a Classita, that's the new name of it, Miss Classita, gives it a little flavor. Uh, why? Because, man, uh, it's just the uh, adventure, it's uh, the, you know, you can say the freedom, but freedom's a real hard word to put your finger on, you know, what does freedom mean? Uh, actually, according to Janis Joplin, it's, freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose, could be true. But I like it, guys. I do like the, the freedom of being able to just change my mind and go anywhere, anytime, basically. Not anywhere, but, you know, go somewhere else if I choose to. It's kind of like sailing. It has a lot, there's a lot of common, common ground as far as the adventure of sailing versus uh, RVing. RVing, of course, uh, you know, you're on land, obviously. But in sailing, you know, you can get out there over the horizon and you're all by yourself for days, weeks, or whatever, and you're also at risk of a lot of things. But with RVing, you're not, there's not so much risk involved, and uh, yeah, and as far as cost, depends on you, man. I mean, I, I, you know, there is no one budget for RVing, none. And uh, yeah, the, you know, like, I was sitting there on Saturday, Actually, it was Friday evening. I was having a beer. Can you believe that? I was having a cold beer. Temperature was about 85. And I'm thinking, well, let's check the winds and see what we got next week. Because I was planning on leaving on Wednesday uh, a.m. and heading to Choke Canyon and then to Lano on Thursday. And it looked like the winds were going to be bad on Wednesday and Thursday for the direction I was traveling. So I was able to make the change, and here we go. It cost me 10 bucks in a cancellation, or what they call it, change fee or something. Big deal, you know. Let's go, you know. And that's another thing for me that I have to learn uh, on making these reservations for more than three or four days at a time. I got to be careful because I know me. Uh, you know, normally I don't make reservations at all. And uh, they do have uh, first come, first serve 
campsites at Falcon Lake State Park, Texas, but they don't have water or electric. Is that a problem for me now? No, it's not. So next year when I go down there, I think I may just take pot luck because they've also got the county park where you can camp for free, but uh, you got to be self-contained totally, and I am, and that's good. So we're going to kind of cut back on the reservations, so to speak, and allow ourselves a little more flexibility. Yeah, when I'm traveling to New Mexico, or in the past when I was traveling to New Mexico, I would never make reservations and just take advantage of the first come, first serve sites, and uh, it always worked out. But I don't even think they've opened the park, state parks in New Mexico to out of staters yet at all. Yeesh. I did notice some people from New Mexico camping at Falcon Lake. Good old Texas, we welcome everybody. They got a little community here, not much of a community, called Bustamante, and it's just a sign basically. Ain't nothing here. You got a hysterical marker or a historical marker. Bustamante. Uh, they must own this town. But on the road again, guys, I'm clicking along here at 57 miles per hour. That is warp one. Warp two is 58 miles an hour. Warp three is 60 big difference huh but here we go guys here we go what's the plan now the plan the plan the plane the plane remember that movie our TV series the plan now is for me to go to Choke Canyon and spend one night then go to Lano and start getting things organized for my spring trip which will probably start in I may head out in May I may hold off till May so we've got all of actually February March and April in Lano I don't if I can stand it I don't know man I, we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see I'm gonna say so yeah but you know without a without any kind of a targeted home base I don't know, man. I just don't know, you know. You know, do I want to get escapees and just escape? You know, escapees mail service where you can be anywhere and they forward your mail? Or do I want to keep my Kingsland P.O. box and my Lano RV park site? I don't know. I work on that. Working on it now, boys. Working on it now. Be a big change. Well, it wouldn't be that big a change, just be different. But yeah, we're heading east on Highway 16. I'm tacking 1900 RPMs at 57 miles an hour. We're kind of going up a grade here, so that's good. Been averaging, we'll see. I, I did the uh, miles per gallon or gasoline average manually, so to speak, and it came out to be 10.3 the second time I checked it. First time was 10.01. And now we're going to do the third time here in a day or so. But uh, there's no hurry on that as soon as I stop to get gas. I'll probably get gas on the way tomorrow to Lano, either in Jordanton or Divine, Texas, or maybe even wait till Kerrville. Not sure. What do we got here, guys? We've been on this video about 10 minutes. Does it matter? Not really at all, guys. When will I post it? This is actually Monday. Uh, I may post this video today, but I've done... Well, I could. I could post this video today to kind of let you know what's going on. And then I've got a, a triking video from Zapata. Uh, uh, yeah, the lake. Falcon Lake, rather. Falcon Lake. State Park. I may do that one. And I think I may even have another driving video around the area. I don't know. But I'll post them. Why? Because they're, they're there, you know. I may delete them. We'll see. 
Let's see. If I run out of things to do, I'll do that. I looked at my, and in fact, I'm looking at my uh, tire pressure monitoring system. And on the left front tire is 80. The left rear tire is 81. The inside left rear tire is 81. On the right side, why? It's different. The right front is 78. The outside rear is 81. And the inside rear is 78. Does that matter? I don't know. Looks okay to me. And I may send the uh, tire pressure monitoring system back. Why? Because I think I just might get some extensions for the valve stems and just before I go check them and inflate them as necessary because I'm not this doesn't really help me a hell of a lot because if the Sun is shining on one side or the other that makes a pound or two difference so be that as it may that decision will be made when it's time on the road again yeah, this is a long, old, lonely stretch here. It's about an hour drive from Zapata, Texas to Hebronville, and ain't nothing but a straight shot of brush country and flat land. Not much happening. You get to see a few Border Patrol, not many here. Uh, where do I hit a checkpoint? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Got to be before Hebronville, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't remember one on this road. I'm sure there is, just don't remember it. Why don't I remember it? Because my rememberer is not what it used to be. It's old. It's gotten old. How old is old? I'll tell you about old. You know you're old when both of your parents are dead. Some of your siblings are dead. Most of your friends are dead. And you're still here. Okay, that is an indication that you have aged somewhat. And in the mid 80s of your life, your 85th year, that is the train wreck. Not too many people go farther than that. A few, a few, a few, a few. Does it matter? Doesn't bother me five cents. I've come to grips with my mortality and I'm happy with it. Let's go. Let the good times roll. I'm at peace with myself. Once a jolly swagman camping by a billabong under the shade of a Kula Bar Tree. <laughs> Waltzing Matilda. Like that song. That was the Australian Army song during World War II, and I guess it's kind of like the national anthem in a lot of ways. Good song. But you got to know what a jumbug is. A Kula Bar Tree. Swagman. And uh, what else? He, he was uh, he was preparing his food. There's there's a word for that too. Here we come into another little community that doesn't exist called Escobas. 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 Used to be a gas station. Now they don't even have that. That's how bad the economy is in Escobas. 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 See, si, Escobas. Escobas. These old lonely roads, this could be, you know, like Highway 50 in Nevada, you know what I mean? It just ain't much happening. And I like it that way. I don't like a lot of traffic anywhere I go. I will drive 100 miles out of the way to avoid traffic. In fact, I could shorten my drive from Choke Canyon Lake State Park to Lano, Texas by about 40 miles if I went through San Antonio, Texas. I could get on Interstate 37 and shoot right on through and come out on 281 North and save me 40 miles. Am I going to do that? Are you kidding me? You think I want to go through that madness in San Antonio, Texas? Ah, no way. 
had signs said this was a hurricane evacuation route. I would agree with that. You know, something else occurred to me while I was down there looking at that lake, which is 34 feet low. That is Falcon Lake. And it occurred to me, I would like to see that lake when it's full. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to kind of watch the hurricane seasons as they come and go. And if they get a hurricane around coming in around Brownsville, Texas, that will fill that lake up because you get 22 inches of rain on the watershed for Falcon Lake and it's going to fill it up. And then I won't go see it. Why? Because I ain't got nothing else to do. Nothing to do and all the time in the world to do it. And sometimes I'm under stress. There's a bit a sign there that said Kinder Morgan. That's mineral mining, isn't it? Company, Kinder Morgan, international company. I see these old houses out here in the middle of nowhere, these old ranch homes. Beautiful homes, but boy, they look lonely to me, man. It's like you better have good TV reception or something. I don't know. You know, I guess you get used to it, you know, because I lived on a farm, wasn't nobody around. You know, hell, I would watch the chickens, and the hogs, and all the stuff we had for entertainment. Take long walks. But anyway, guys, oh, anyway, anyway, there's a bull there on the right. That is a, no, it isn't, that's a cow. That is a Charlet. Charlet is the white one. The white ones, are, we had Charlet cattle when I was a young kid, a kid. We had a bull named Charlie. And I told the story about Charlie sticking his head in the window of my parked car down by our stock tank when I was trying to make love to a pretty young thing. And he ruined a good evening for both of us, I hope. Yeah, there was a lot of fog on those windows. I had one window down a little bit, so I let the heat out. And here come old Charlie thinking it was my dad gonna give him something to eat. Stuck his head up there and and that did it. End of love making session. Everything turned cold as ice. Isn't that amazing how that happened? In the heat of the moment, a, a, a disruption can really wilt the leaves on the tree. Ain't this exciting? You know, for me it is. And that, this, this is actually very enjoyable for me and a lot of people would be bored to tears. Do I care about what a lot of people would do? Not really, because they don't care about me either. So I'm going to end the video since we just took a little turn kind of into the sunlight. But yeah, but you guys that are thinking about RVing and stuff, just either do it or not, you know? Because it's what it is. It's no uh, solution to uh, all your problems because when you get out here in an RV, you're still going to be you. That's it. You're still going to have that same old baggage. The only thing that will change, you'll just have it in a different place in a different way. But moving right along, guys, thumbs up. We're coming into Jim Hogg County. Let me tell you about the Hogg family. He was governor one time. There was a governor Hogg uh, in Texas, and he had some daughters. He had two of them, and they were named Ima and Yura. That's the true story. Ima Hogg and Yura Hogg, and that's the truth. So help me Buddha and Great Spirit. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up, carpe diem, means seize the day in Latin, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it does not cost you a penny. You click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you want. And during that shopping session, whatever you buy, Amazon will take care of me with a little commish. It ain't much but times a hundred or more or so, it adds up. And over a month, it pays for my gasolina. So, do it.
And then what else? Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't watch the news. Read it. Oh, Mr. Bill. You know, and enjoy your life the best way you can. Get up in the morning and ask yourself right before you roll out of bed, say, what can I do today to make this day better? How can I enjoy this day or this next moment? What can I do? And you'd be surprised. Most of the time, you won't know. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.